Hey guys, my name is Grant Hines and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be playing some Overwatch on PlayStation 4. I'm going to be sniping. I really enjoy sniping. For those of you who watch a lot of my channel, hey, what's up guys? Uh, you guys know I play a lot of Overwatch on PC and since I moved over here, I don't really have my PC, so I've been like dabbling in a lot of PS4. So I haven't really had a chance to play Overwatch on the console. I play a lot of Overwatch on PC, but I, I must say that I've... I'm quite enjoying it. Widowmaker is one of my favorite characters because of the, the potent snipe. Quite keen to see how it works out on the console. But before I go into any more detail on that, I want to let you guys uh, have the opportunity to like and subscribe if you want to do that. Uh, we're going to be chatting about what games I'm looking forward to this month. Uh, this It's February 2017 and there's some very cool games coming out. Notably two. If you have any games that you'd like to add to that list, if you think that I should be checking out a, another game, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're picking up a game that I haven't uh, that I haven't played, uh, like I'd like to hear what you what you guys have to say. Roadhog, what you do, son? What you do, son? Oh, Roadhog. Roadhog's probably. I just feel. Look at this. What am I sniping on the ground for? Grant, what's wrong with you? All right. Well, the first game is actually coming out today. The game, well, when you see this, it will have already come out on the 5th of May. It is Prey. Now, it's, it's the new Prey uh, game. I never played the original. Unfortunately, I heard rave reviews about it. I uh, never had a PC at the time to actually play it either. That was that was during my high school years. And uh, I, I heard a lot of good things about it. A lot of lore. A lot of people like, wow, it was like this undercover hit that you sh that you should have played, should have had opportunity for. Look at that jump, I've still got it. Still got it in me. Oh, look at that, Gron, look at that, look at that, look at that. So I'm really excited for this for this new one, actually having an opportunity to, it's kind of like a reboot, I assume. The Bethesda are talking about it like it's the, like it's dishonored, well, the ads on the subway say that it's Bioshock in space, but they seem to be referencing a lot of dishonored. Bioshock worries me because, oh, look at that. Oh, I'm Spider-Man. Uh, it, it worries me because I'm not, I'm, I don't do well with horrors. For those of you who watch my Resident Evil live stream. So maybe I should live stream it if I have the opportunity. I don't know if I'm going to have uh, a computer by then to live stream. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I might as well just jam in and play it. But if, if it's terrifying, I'm going to I'm gonna have a lot of jump scares. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, uh, yeah, let's see what's happening behind you. Okay. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. We're dominating, this is really, this is really, this is really good. Um, but I'm really excited to, to get involved and play. It's all set like in a, a, a universe where JFK, the the American president, wasn't assassinated. You know, he was in charge of the space race and all that stuff. And as a result, he, uh, <laughs> the space race program really accelerates and aliens then decide to get involved in our pesky little planet and horrifying, weirdly psych- yeah, we won. We did well. We did well. That was great. Round one complete. Weirdly horrifying creatures uh, pitch up to the scene and uh, try to, to to kill us, which which, which sucks. Um, oh, as far as I know, I, I don't know too many of the, the other details, and I don't want to have too many spoilers because what I saw of the footage at E3 was just absolutely insane. It's something I I need to play, and I need to just get immersed into this really crazy world, like I've uh, never been in, uh, immersed in before. The second game that I'm very excited for is Injustice 2. Now, I, I, I haven't had an opportunity to, to look when it comes out, but it, it comes out in a week's time or something. Guys, let me know in the comments below or let other people know when, when it gets released. But Injustice 2 is exciting. And I, I know these these games are very different in genre. Usually you see me play a lot of shooters. Uh, technically, Prey is somewhat of a shooter, but it's also kind of a strategy game. And, and Dishonored as well as Stealth RPG. If it's got a lot of those elements, it's gonna be, it won't be classified as a traditional shooter. Obviously, like Call of Duty. Oh, look here, friend. What are you drinking? What, what are you doing? Oh, Roadhog, you're gonna get it. Oh yeah, let's get some. But Injustice 2 is a beat em up. Oh, oh, just gotta sneak up from behind. Oh, snap the reload. The reload boy. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Um. <laughs> oh, glad, glad I'm okay. I'm 72, 72 health here, so let's see what we can do. Um, it's set uh, in the DC universe. Ed Boon is uh, helming it as, as far as I know. He's like the director for like Mortal Kombat. And like he basically made Mortal Kombat. So he understands fighting edge. Come Tracer, what are you doing? What are you doing? And because of that injustice, uh, gods among us, the, oh, look at you. That was a schoolboy era. What were you thinking? Um, injustice gods among us was really good because um, he was involved. 
Injustice 2, I think is going to be as good. The stories are really good in those games. Mortal Kombat had a very good story mode. I want to see uh, a really good story mode from Injustice 2. It looks really fluid and sick. Like, that's what you want from a beat-em-up. And I just love the DC universe. A lot, of, a lot of the rewards are, like, outfits and costumes. And they seem to have nearly everything. So if you're a DC fan, like, you're going to have nearly every single, like, costume uh, from the DC universe. And most characters. Um, and obviously them updating the characters. Oh, I can't set up there. Oh, okay. Greece, your buildings suck. There's no time for for purging. So that's so that, that I'm really amped about. Look at that five player kill streak. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yes, yes. And your ult is up and you're ready to go, and it's like you're winning, like dominating. Look at that score, we're dominating. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I'm very excited by by it all. Like it's it's it's. It's been, it's gonna be a very cool month, and I like the fact that those games are very different. Injustice, you can have some friends around and play. Maybe I'll get some of the guys. Maybe I get like Cass and Josh or Joe to come to come play some Injustice. Who knows? Who knows? But um, I really enjoy the, the the fact that there's like a beat 'em up couch game, and then this really in depth, long single player, uh, you know, uh, prey, you know, game in prey. If you guys uh, have any, ooh, yes, look at that! What do I make of this? What do I make That's what you get. Stepping up. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions that you'd like to make uh, uh, for any other games that I may have left out this month, those are the big two ones. I know there's some cool stuff happening on the Switch. Um, I just need to get my Switch set up here. Ooh, look at that! We won victory. Let me know in the comments below. And I'm quite enjoying these videos where I just get to chat to you and. Uh, Kind of go through some of my you know things that are on the top of my mind uh let me know if you want me to do a couple more if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about in uh, in particular i didn't get to play the game that was terrifying that was terrible terrifying is the wrong word but roadhog yo, you dominated that was pretty crazy let me know in the in the in the comments below i really like to hear what you guys think and i'll ha have to say about that and if you've got any suggestions for me i'll see you guys in another video high five a stranger cheers